Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is uh, one of the advanced WordPress topics. The topic is to how we can add a custom action in WordPress WooCommerce orders details. Now let me show you what uh, actually I want to do and then we'll start working that how that can be accomplished. Now first of all I have logged into the dashboard of uh, the website in which we have already installed WooCommerce and we have uh, many products in it as well. So I'm going to WooCommerce and orders. Now from here, I'm going to open any of the orders. Now here in order details, the client basically wanted to add uh, a custom action into this drop down for example we, we can add any action that can be performed on an order in this actions list and by clicking on that action for example I click I can click on this one and then click update and that action will be performed now the today's task is to add something into this actions and then by clicking on that action and clicking on update we want to perform that action the client's requirement was actually to add this send google review email he actually wanted uh, once the order is complete then he actually wants to send that client uh, google review email so that the, uh, the client that has purchased product from him he can have a google review of his product so for that he actually asked me to add uh, something in this actions of the order details now basically today's task is to add some uh, custom action here in this list and by clicking on this update button that action must be performed what i will do today is i will actually by clicking on this update button i will send an email to the client of this order in uh, the privacy policy of this email we have of this website we have already told the clients that we will send them a google review email after the completion of the of the order so so that it can be legal otherwise um, we, uh, there can be issues but because we have already described this thing in the privacy policy so we can do that easily by doing this selecting this action from here and then clicking on update and that action that action will be performed now let's start doing that to do that we have to actually go to uh, functions.php and we will add some code to be linked to this order details portion of the website and then from there we will make it happen so let's start doing it okay here is my uh, functions.php that is open in uh, dreamweaver now in this file i'm going to add this code now what this code is doing it is attaching a, an action adding an action to the woocommerce orders actions and we are calling it my custom action this is the this is a new function that we will we are going to make now this my custom action will be placed here and uh, here in this uh, functions definition we are going to give the action a name this is the name of the action and this name will be assigned to this array element of the actions array and the actions will be returned now I'm going to save this code and let's see I'm going to upload it and after upload let's see what happens. Now the uh, functions.php is uploaded again into the themes uh, folder. Now let's refresh the page and see what happens. Now we have opened uh, the details of an order and let's see are we getting that action here. Yes we are getting that action custom action 
in orders that what that's what we have described in the code now i can select it and update click update now as a result of this thing an action must be performed but for now we just had added uh, an option here now we will go for something to be added in so that this action is performed let's do it now now i have added the second part of this uh, process the first part actually has displayed that action in the drop down list now the second part will perform that action now you can see it starts from here i will provide you with the code in the video's description now it starts from here and ends up till here now what it is doing is once we will click on uh, that uh, action in the drop down list this action will be performed i am adding an action to the wordpress woocommerce now the action will be attached to this uh, woocommerce order action and uh, from here onwards this is the name of the action that we have given in the above function for example if you can see this is the name of the function this is the name of the array element or you can say array element of that action this action so i am going to give this action add my action after this this line so you can see this is given here and i am going to give the name of the function that will be performed as that action is selected from the drop down now you can see this is the action that i am making and it is getting that order from which we have actually implemented that uh, or triggered that action here in the first line what i am going to do is i am going to get the order details because what i what i will do is i will send an email to that client so to to send an email so to, so to send that email i need the email address of that client who has uh, actually given that order also i need to have the first name and the last name of that uh, client who has actually placed that order also in some scenarios i may need the order details the items and the, the total cost based on the requirement of the client but for now i actually only need the name the email address the first name the last name and the email address of the the client who has performed that uh, who has placed that order because i need to send the email to that client now to get the order details this is the function that gets the order details by the order id so this is this would be this will be the order id i will attach this id uh, after this order and that will get this function will get all the order details in this order variable now from this order variable i can get different things that will be needed to perform that action first of all i am getting this email address get billing uh, email function is getting the email address of the client and this email address is stored in this billing email i am copying this billing email and giving it to two variable of my code then because i am ma basically making an email so i can give a subject here mail to the the client based on custom action you can give any subject that you want to be shown to the client who will get this email and then in this message i will write the whole message if i want to add the name of the client because the, the email normally starts with hi and then the client's name so we can do it like this you can write the whole email here this will be the headers that will be used to send email this is the typical email format then we can say info at abc.com this will be the um, email address of the website from where we are going to send this email then
this will be the mail function that will actually send the email to the client to the person who has placed the order now if this is true the result of this email means the email is sent then we will we will write a message uh, action is performed and otherwise we will write action is not performed and we are going to save it now let's upload this functions.php and see what happens okay before that uh, before testing the actual code, uh, what I need to do is I need to actually replace this uh, email address by one of my testing email ad addresses so that uh, the email doesn't go to the client himself. So I'm going to give a test uh, email address here and uh, going to save it. And now I'm going to upload this code. The code is uploaded and I'm I'm refreshing the page now, order details page. Now as you can see here from this list, I am selecting this custom action and I'll click on update. Okay, as you can see, as the action is performed, you can see this text here. So this says that action is performed successfully and uh, that's how we can add a custom action to the WooCommerce order details. If you like the video, please uh, click the like button. Also subscribe the channel. I made this channel for your convenience so that uh, uh, the, 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 the problems that I actually, uh, the solutions that I found very difficultly, you can find those solutions easily from this channel. So please subscribe my channel and uh, hit the like button as well. If you like the video, thanks for watching. Thank you so much. Bye for now.